Teresa Hill says she received a phone call on the 4th of July about seven years ago that her son, Mason Myers, was being care flighted to the hospital. She says when she arrived to the hospital, he was hooked up to monitors. He wasn't awake. He wasn't moving. He was just laying there. Myers was involved in a drinking and driving incident near the river in New Braunfels. Police say Myers was on the tailgate. The driver was drunk and driving recklessly, trying to show off, and Myers fell out. We relive this all the time when we talk about it because it is a scary thing that does happen, and nobody ever thinks it's going to happen to you. I sure didn't. My son, he's, he's careful with what he does. It's just it was an accident, but... Drunk driving has a consequence, and it doesn't matter if it's you that it affects or if it's somebody else. Something is not going to end well with that. Myers was in the hospital for eight days but survived. And he's a walking miracle. Because of his head injury, he can't smell or taste anything, and his sense of touch is limited. This will be a lifelong injury he will always have. But Hill is grateful he's alive. TxDOT says a person in Texas dies every 7 hours and 43 minutes in a DUI alcohol-related traffic crash. Every one of these, the crashes, the deaths, the serious injuries, they were all 100% preventable. Just don't do it. It's not worth the risk. This spring break, TxDOT launched a Drive Sober, No Regrets, Drunk Driving Prevention Campaign. Unfortunately, you know, between 2020 and 2021, we saw a 24% increase in deaths from DUI spring break crashes. And that's just not acceptable. So if you do have a DUI, it can cost you up to $17,000. Uh, you could lose your job. You could lose your credibility. Uh, your family members may not trust you uh, for a while. So there's, there's no win.